Good morning, pre-algebra. I am glad it is Monday. Hope you had a very wonderful weekend um, hunting or seal hunting or whatever kind of hunting or chores you did. Um, I got to sight in my rifle, so that was really fun. But let's jump to the joke of the day. So why does a moon rock taste better than an earth rock? Well, that's because it is a little meteor. You get it? Meteor, meteorite, meteor, more meat, all that good stuff. All right, so enough joking around. I'll let you laugh a little bit. And I am at page 368. So here's the thing. Can you believe we have gone through 368 pages in our math book? And we're only like um, a little bit more than a half. Well, we're getting close to 60%. Um, we're about 60% of the way through the year since we're talking about percentages. But that's pretty crazy to me, and we still have a lot more to go. But we are cruising. I think this is a very good, super applicable chapter, and it's pretty easy stuff as we continue with our percentages and, and proportions. So page 368. All right, so we are trying to find the percent of change. So we're given two numbers, and we're trying to find a percent, or we are given a percent and we're trying to find um, a new number. So we're going to start out with being given two numbers and finding the percent of change. So here is our first example. I'm looking at the middle of the page, example number one. We'll go and draw it out. So find the percent of change from 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Then state whether the percent of change is an increase or decrease. So the first thing that we do is we ought to do sub, sub, some subtraction. So we, we uh, do our larger number, our new, um, let's say not the original. So they're calling it the final amount. So we ended up at 80, 80 degrees, correct? 84 degrees. So it says to do 84, the final, subtracting, uh, taking away the original, which is... 60 degrees. All right, and when we do that, we get a number of 24 degrees. So that was the difference. We went from 60 degrees to 84 degrees. But we're trying to figure out what's the percent of the change. So we have 24 degrees, and the way we do that is that we do our um, amount of change. So I'm going to write this out. We do our amount of change divided by our original amount. Divided by the original. So 60 degrees is our original. So we are going to do 24 divided by 60. And when we do that, we get a decimal place of 0.4. So now, what's our percentage? Well, we move our decimal place two points to the right. So we get that is 40%. And did that increase or decrease? Is that a 40% increase or a decrease? we got to figure out. We went from 60 degrees to 80 degrees. So we're getting colder. Well, I wouldn't call 60 degrees cold. And you guys definitely wouldn't either. But we're getting from summertime temperatures to really hot summertime temperature. So that's definitely an increase. We're talking about an increase in temperature. 40%. Okay? So here is our significant things. We want to do final minus original. So here's our important steps. This is step number one, and this is step number two. And then we got to find out if it's an increase or a decrease. So let's do another example here. So our example down at the very bottom, it's, we're talking about comic books. I don't know if you guys ever collected comics or read them, but I never did. But nonetheless, Ty had 52 comic books. Now he has 61. Find the percent of change. State whether the percent of change is an increase or a decrease. All right, so we got to start out with our final amount. Our final amount is 61. So remember, we want to do final 
minus original, that's step one. And then step two is that we do our uh, change divided by original. All right, so step one, we have 61. So taking away, what's the original amount? 52. All right, when we do that, we get nine. All right, so now we're gonna do step two, our change nine divided by 52. And when we do that, we get a funky number of 0.173, yada, yada, yada. But now we change that to our percent. So we get 17.3%. And did Ty increase the number of his comic books or decrease? Well, he got more. His final amount is larger. So that is going to be an increase. All right, get the picture, how it works. So that's, uh, that's our one thing, is finding the percent, is these two steps. All right, let's move on. I'm now on page 369, and we're going to be figuring out markup or discount. So markup is when we're talking about adding more to the price, and a discount is taking off the price. So this is stuff you will see definitely in real life. It will be helpful, especially if you want to buy stuff for cheap, the least amount possible. All right, so here is our first step. It says, find the selling price if a store pays 42 bucks for a pair of roller blades and marks up the price for 25%. So let's use ice skates. That makes a little bit more sense here. Ice skates. So the store buys them for 42 bucks and then they mark up the price 25%. So we're trying to find what is the new price that people have to pay. So just like at the Arvik store, here, they buy stuff for a certain price, and then they have to, because they want to make money, they have to sell it for more money. So here is our situation. What we need to do is we are going to multiply our price by our percent. So we have 42 bucks. And we got to multiply it times our percent is 25 percent all right so this is what you're going to want to punch into your calculator you're going to want to do 42 times what's 25 percent as a decimal that's right 0.25 when we do that we get 10.5 so we know that this is ten dollars and 50 cents. Now we got to figure out do we add this to our 42 bucks or do we subtract it? So remember we're talking about marking up so we need to add it. This is included. This is going to be the new price. The store is going to make 20 or ten dollars and fifty cents so we need to add that to 42 bucks. So when we add that to 42 we get $52.50. So this is the price that the store will sell a pair of skates for, $52.50. Okay. If you want to look at the other method, you can look that in your textbook, but um, I'm going to do another example of this. So it says, find the selling price if a store pays $75 for a bike and the markup is 40%. So you're dealing with a $75 bike and markup is 40%. So remember, the way that we set this up in your calculator, 75 times 0.4, 0 0.4 is 40%. And when we do that, I gotta get out my calculator. 75 times 0.4 equals 30. All right, now is this bike on sale? No, mark up. So we need to add that to the price. So our new price, 75 plus 30 is 105 bucks. So I don't know, um, if you go to a different village, maybe Good news, I've never been to the store there, um, but I don't know if they sell bikes, 
um, but maybe Quinnahawk is big enough, but definitely Bethel. Uh, every store buys something for a lower price, and then they sell it at a higher price, so that store can make money. The trick is finding out what is the right price. 40% is a lot to mark up. That, that's a huge profit. Um, so maybe the bike wouldn't really sell at $105. Maybe it would sell at a lower price. I don't know what you'd be willing to pay for a bike, but um, I don't know if I'd pay $105. Knowing that the store is making that much, that's really high. Typically, I think most stores stick around the 25% level. Okay. Um, again, this is what you're going to use, be using in real life. Let's just do a makeup example. Let's talk about a discount. So it says on page 370, this is our last problem, Summer Sports is having a sale. A volleyball has an original price of $59. It is on sale for 65% off the original price. That's crazy. <laughs> Find the sale price of the volleyball. So our original volleyball price is 59 bucks, but it's on sale for 65% off. Now here is our key. That tells us exactly what to do. It tells us to subtract. We got to subtract 65%. So we're going to type 59 in our calculator. We're going to multiply it by 0.65. So 65% of the price is 38.35, and that's money. So we're getting, you're saving $38.35. So now we have to do 59, so take away, man, just going too fast. 59, take away, $38.35 which gets a price of twenty sixty-five, and that's a steal twenty sixty-five. so typically a store has a sale if they don't have room for stuff stuff just sits on the shelves and it's better just to sell it to make some money rather than let it sit so that's why a lot of stores have sales is to make room for other items okay if you have any questions, please, you know, you can pause or go back to a different part of the video. Otherwise, ask for help, work hard, believe in yourself, and I will see you in real life.